Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. This tank before me is my African Mbuna cichlid community. When I first began fish keeping, I had a mixture of cichlid species in this tank. I enjoyed the mix, but over time, I decided to make this an Mbuna only tank. Mbuna means rockfish in the language of the Tongo people living around Lake Malawi. This name refers to the species of haplochromides, which is made up of 12 genera. Genera are biological classifications within a species group. Mbuna are not considered a large cichlid, generally growing 4 to 5 inches, but have been known to reach 6 inches. These cichlids are hardy and aggressive and do well in numbers. Mbuna should not be kept in a tank any smaller than 30 gallons, although I recommend the largest you can afford if getting into this hobby. Tank setups for Mbuna should consist of a sandy bottom often mixed with crushed coral to help with water alkalinity. They are rock dwellers, so having some rock and providing hiding places, caves, and crevices is important. Plants are not recommended as they just dig them up or eat them. If you do want plants, there are some really great fake looking plants. Mbuna do much better in numbers. Too few in one tank and you will have an, a rise in aggression. Having higher numbers allows the smaller or weaker fish to escape tormentors by getting lost in the crowd. You can keep cichlids from different biotopes such as sand dwellers, open water swimmers and deep water varieties together but this requires a much larger tank in order to meet each species specific needs. It is recommended the fish you combine should be of similar size. When adding new additions to your aquarium, it should be done in groups of four or more as they're much less likely to be singled out and harassed. And bunas are for the most part vegetarians. They require roughage in their diet, enjoying vegetables and algae. In an aquarium setting, they are greedy little piggies when it comes to feeding time. There are many good quality foods on the market. Trial and error will help you find the food that is right for your cichlids. I have my cichlids on North Fin pellets with a supplement of spirulina. Ambuna are mouth breeders. Keeping a ratio of one male to several females would be considered a good sized breeding group. Here again, you will need caves and crevices that the females can retreat to as the males can get a little over aggressive when in pursuit of a mate. These fish display amusing moves when they are trying to entice their mates into their breeding area. They will shiver and shake their bodies in a mating dance and their coloration will become quite pronounced at this time as well. The pair will turn in a circle during breeding. The females will incubate the fertilized eggs in her mouth for anywhere from 20 to 28 days. She will gently roll the eggs in her mouth, turning them and rocking them to keep them moving and healthy. On the seventh day of holding, the first signs of life appear. The fry will pop a tail and head using the yolk as their food source as they're developing into free swimming fry. By 14 to 16 days, their egg sac will be used up and they will be free swimming. The female will continue to hold her babies for another week or so. She'll begin to release her fry for short periods of time, but quickly scoop them up into her mouth if she feels threatened. As each day passes, the fry grow and mum soon realizes she can no longer protect them in her mouth, but she will stay close and defend them for another week or two. As soon as the fry have been released for the first time, you can start feeding powdered food to them, as they will be quite hungry. And Buna are not only pleasing to the eye with their vibrant colors, but they display amazing social behaviors. Each tank will have a clearly defined hierarchy that all members of the community must fall in line with. Each tank will have a tank boss and a subdominant male as second in command. The tank boss maintains a territory within an area of the tank where he only allows females to enter for breeding purposes. These positions do change at times if the tank boss is challenged and loses his throne. From time to time you will see another cichlid make an effort to challenge the king, but often it's more of a testing than an actual fight. 
As you can see, the Mbuna cichlids of Lake Malawi are amazing fish. They're not recommended for beginner aquarists, but if you have someone who is knowledgeable and you're willing to commit to this hobby, you should be fine. I do highly recommend before getting into cichlid keeping, you explore all the requirements of the fish and the demands it will have on you. I enjoy my Mbuna tank very much. There's always something going on in the tank and I can sit for hours on end watching this community. Thank you so much for watching. This is Deb Tim signing out. I hope you've had a great day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.